Hi, my name is Jayaprashant Mohan Ram and you are watching Car Talk. So I'm back at the JW Marriott in Delhi with my colleague Ajish to shoot this. So BYD has just launched the Emax 7 today. It is the E6's successor. The E6 was launched in November 2021. And three years later, BYD has come up with a facelifted version. They're calling it the Emax 7. Plenty of changes in this car. Mainly, they've taken customer feedback into consideration and all the changes you see in the car is based on customer feedback. Now, let's dive right into the design. Delving into the design, the first thing that they've changed is this. The bonnet is new. They call it the Dragon design. So, this basically gives it a more muscular look up front. And then you've got new headlamps, LED units, of course. You've got this beautiful DRLs running around. Okay, this is a new item. So, these are the key changes up front. And then as you come towards the profile of the car, what you'll notice is the alloy wheels. The alloy wheels are new, 17 inches, sensible units because this car is basically meant for comfort and that's why they've gone on for 17 inches, sensible size, new alloy wheels. So this is basically the key changes up front and the sides. And then as we go on to top, you're gonna see a glass panoramic roof. It's not a sunroof, it's a glass panoramic roof that's got a blind inside to darken it and to basically make it lighter as you need. So that is a change sides of the car. And finally, let's go to the rear and show you what's new at the rear. So talking about the changes at the rear, you've got this massive connected LED bar. Just look how wide this is. This basically gives the BYD uh, Emax 7 a sense of width. And this is becoming commonplace in most cars. It's very common in BYD cars and they've brought it to the Emax. You've got new badging. So that's pretty much the exterior design changes of the Emax 7. Now let's jump into the car and see what's changed on the inside because it's quite comprehensive there. So currently I'm sitting inside the cabin of the BYD Emax 7. This is the facelifted model. We had the E6 before this. And what they've done is since the price has gone up, okay, the main things they've done is they've made the cabin feel a lot more luxurious than before. Now we've got new uh, a color scheme inside. This is basically brown and you've got beige and a little bit of black and you've got a forward paneling on the dashboard. Basically the dashboard more or less remains the same but it gets a spruce up. It looks much better than before and I want to show you something. And this is basically a massive screen there. It rotates. So this is something that's cool about this particular screen. So you've got two different modes. You can make it smaller or larger depending on how you want to see it. And the center console also has been redesigned. You had a knob uh, to select uh, different drives, but now you have a proper gear selector here and it looks quite premium. And they say this has got anti-fingerprint technology. I think it works. I can't see my fingerprints here. So that's, that's a cool bit. And this is where you keep your phones, the wireless charging here. And you've got plenty of charging, I'll show you. So under the armrest, you've got not, you can charge, there's a USB-C, there's a memory card slot, and you also have a regular uh, type, a regular uh, USB charger, uh, charger socket there. These are cup holders. The steering wheel is new again. Uh, it's redesigned basically, because now you have ADAS, so you've got a lot of ADAS functions coming under the steering wheel. This remains the same, but of course, you've got a bunch of that shows you the charge speed and uh, let, let's come back here into the center console different modes the different modes of the center console can be selected here everything is quite convenient you don't have any paddles here on the steering but here you can select the modes this is where you can select the region and it also has an auto parking mode this is the auto parking mode i can enable it only when all the doors are shut and i'm wearing a seat belt so you can't see that Volume controls are here, again, very conveniently placed. You've got air conditioning controls also here, including the hazard lights. So it's quite minimal, but it's quite functional. And now it comes with ADAS. Okay, the seats are like quite comfortable. This is basically a, a power adjust. A driver's got six-way power adjust and the passenger, the front passenger's got four-way power adjust. This is where, these are ventilated seats. Now let's go back to the rear seat. That is where most of the action is going to be for the BYD. Emax 7. Let's go there and see what this baby's got on. So I'm sitting in the second row of the BYD Emax 7 or yep, Emax 7. So you've got an armrest in between. This is the seven seater variant where otherwise there is also a captain seat variant where you have four plus two, six seats. So this is a seven seater variant. So it's got a 60 40 split. So it's going to be quite comfortable. And these seats can be moved front and rear. 
and it's, since it's got a 60 40 split a lot of space management can be done even if you're carrying say six people it's going to be reasonably comfortable because you can actually slide this seat in front so there'll be a little bit of space and once again byd has been pretty clever they have usb the regular usb as well as the type c here and you've got vents here this is a car that's predominantly focused on rear seat comfort this is basically a family mpv so we've got vents for everybody there vents here the vents here as well you can see even for the self third row ac vents massive glass roof so it always is an airy cabin here because it's beige plus a massive uh, glass roof uh, everything feels soft to touch feels quite premium and one thing i noticed is the power window seems to be very very fast it's a one touch unit just look at how fast it's going down and look at how fast it's going up this is generally faster than what we are used to so i was initially taken a little bit aback overall the you know premiumness there is a lot of premiumness and this feels premium this feels like a proper 30 lakh rupee mpv and one more thing see the seat is flo uh, the flat uh, the uh, floor is absolutely flat the battery is under the floor it's a blade battery and this basically liberates a lot of space it's almost like business class airline kind of a comfort that you get in the middle row and with the seats pushed a little front you're gonna have a lot of leg room here okay now let me go to the third row and show you because this is the first time B the byd is offering a third row in the uh, e max 7 in the e6 they didn't it, it was just a five seater despite having a 2800 mm wheelbase in fact this is a 50 mm more than the innova crista and 50 mm lesser than the high cross so overall it's a 4.7 uh, meter car it's a large car now let me go to the rear of the, i mean the third row and show you the amount of space there so now i'm getting into the third row of the e7 slide in easy to get it i'm five foot seven just for reference easy to get in okay and now somebody is basically yeah so this is the amount of recline that i have and i obviously want to pull this up yeah it's actually a reasonably comfortable space because the seats folded in front now let's pull this back and see how much space we have okay so this is typically the amount of space you will have it's not a tight fit uh, there is enough leg room even i would be comfortable in this seat even for a longer journey because see the whole thing is the floor is flat because the battery is the floor and this is what's making all that difference if i were to sit in an innova uh, the floor would be much taller because you obviously have the spare wheel etc etc the byd e7 max doesn't have a spare wheel you just get a puncture repack it that is one thing quite comfortable cup holders here ac vents are here there's a speaker here so there are there is a three-point seat belt here as well you know so overall it's quite a comfortable space and it's a wide car it's about 1815 mm wide and it shows there's plenty of width inside space packaging interiors fantastic job it's got six airbags before i forget overall yeah it's quite a comfortable place to be in headroom more than ample for me and they've scooped this section out just to liberate that extra few mm of headroom nice touch by vyd overall this is the rear seat quite comfortable nice plush boot of course suffers because once you have all the seats you just have maybe 180 or 200 liters of boot once you have seven seats you know all seven seats up but of course you can fold all of it and make a quite a big boot if you really need that space so here are my closing thoughts about the byd uh, emax 7 this is the obviously the facelifted version it offers a lot more than the e6 uh, it looks slightly different but overall it, it looks pretty sharp you've got a glass roof now interiors have gone much up market than before you've got six and seven seat options which make it a great innova crista and a high cross competitor in fact this is the fastest mpv money can buy in india this is also the first six and seven seat electric mpv 2800 mm wheelbase with six and seven seat makes it a very comfortable mpv uh, overall pricing 26.9 for the uh, base trim goes all the way up to 29.9 for the top trim uh, overall pricing is right on the money you also get a battery that can you know take you from one city to another you've got about 350 kilometers of range which is very good real world range byd claim 530 for the bigger battery which is about 72.4 kill 72 kilowatt hour battery and the 55 kilowatt hour battery can do about 4 or 420 that's claimed range real range will be about 250 to 280 kilometers overall fantastic product for the kind of money they're asking for because this facelift is a big upgrade and mainly it's because of customer feedback and byds listen to the customer and remember this is a cbu 
CBU at 30 lakh rupees, you can't ask more than this. So, what do you think about the BYD Emax 7? Do let us know in the comments below. And uh, as always, subscribe to Car Talk if you like this kind of content. Thank you very much for watching.